So Joseph Williams, I'm the state's ICT director for economic development, and I'm housed in the Department of Commerce. It's an organic environment here. The state actually doesn't do anything to incentivize the tech industry. The tech industry just is, and it continues to grow. And it continues to grow because of the cycle of talent. So we have a lot of talent that comes out of Microsoft and Amazon and Google and Meta. And as they exit, they do startups and it just continues to grow. It's been an amazing journey. And we're now, the sector is 22% of the state GDP. It's a huge part of our economy and no other state has such a dependency on tech. So we're very good at enterprise computing, very, very good at enterprise computing. We're very good at, at the cloud, but we're not very good at consumer. So if you actually look at consumer computing, mobile games, like, well, we're actually decent at mobile gaming, but most of the consumer apps do not originate here. They open engineering outposts, so Facebook has an engineering outpost here, so does Apple, but we're, our weakness would be the consumer side of things. We're really quite good at enterprise. So we do fund ed the university education system. The University of Washington, which is very well regarded in computer science, we gave them enough money and a new building to double their enrollments. We incentivize the, the growth of the cybersecurity industry by providing professorships at the various universities for that. But that's mostly what we do. We don't, we're not like other states that actually have cash incentives that they provide startups. Kind of weird when you think about it. There are a number of startup events around the city, but most of them are focused on one particular thing, whether it's 5G or AI or bioscience. This one actually was a blend of everything. And so it was a good place to go to get insight into what's happening in fusion and bioscience and data centers and AI. Well, AI is definitely very exciting. I myself use Claude. It, it, it's like having two full-time interns, which is amazing. But what really excites me is quantum. So we have a very good ecosystem here for quantum computing to take off. But the biggest problem is we're, we're not very well coordinated yet. And so the thing that excites me about my role is help pushing everybody together to create some synergies so that we can actually get a quantum tech ecosystem here. Mm -hmm. When we're competing with some states like Illinois and Maryland and Colorado and New York that have done a fantastic job. So we're kind of running behind. So there's a built-in challenge of how do we stay ahead or catch up. <laughs> I'm not really from here. I moved here from Denver and before that I was in San Francisco and I found Seattle to be every, every bit as welcoming as every any other place I've been. I think the problem here is that this is a very relationship culture as opposed to other places and so it takes a while to build the relationship and it just feels like it's unfriendly but eventually it ends up being a great place to network since i've been here at this event i have run into at least 50 people that i have pretty good relationships with and it's easy to rekindle those and, and get it moving again and that's one of the things i love about this place it's big i mean we have four million people in the tri-county area but the ecosystem actually feels intimate. It almost feels as intimate as Nashville, and, and we're eight times the size of Nashville. So we're very good at seed funding, we're very good at angel funding, and we're reasonably good at A rounds. We're not so good at B, and, and we're not good at all for C, D, and beyond. And so one of the things I'd love to see is more mature money originating in this market, but we're so close to San Francisco, it's literally a two hour fl plane flight. They just pop up here and, and they engage and provide that capital for us. And the other thing I'd love to see is, if, if you've been here very long, you know the housing is very expensive. We need more moderate income housing. We need affordable daycare. 
21,000 is the average cost of daycare here. And we actually aren't very well set up if you want to have your own home. Housing is one thing, but whether you want to have your own home in a neighborhood with a good school district, it's scarce. And we'd like to see more of that. We're in a very good position for AI. So for, if you look at the, the hype curve where AI is now starting to monetize, I think we're gonna do very well here. We'll create a lot of wealth. The next new thing, we don't know what that is. Is it quantum? Is it something else? We don't know. And so the big challenge for the state is to try to figure out how we invest in the, the developing economy. AI happened to be something that we were already good at, thanks to the University of Washington, Microsoft and Amazon, we already had critical mass for that. We don't have it in quantum and we don't have it in other emerging technologies as well. But we do have it in fusion and so fusion is very exciting. We're not really a big leader in data centers anymore. We're, we're, we have about a hundred data centers, but we're not building anymore. So, you know, we, we have to figure out where the balance is. It's exciting, it's an exciting time.